When I think of the Blade and Racers, I think of two completely different versions. The first version is, I'm 11 years old, it's 1968. Um, it's my first football match, Newcastle United playing in Europe against Feyenoord. And I'm in a packed stadium among 60,000 fans. Um, this might be the first time I ever heard the Blade and Racers, and it's something I'll never forget. So how can I best describe the impact of the Blade and Racers? Um, it was certainly intimidating, it was aggressive, it was adversarial and um, very unifying. And pretty soon I was singing along in my best Geordie accent. Fast forward 10 years and I'm in town, out on the town with friends and we're heading up the big market to, to go to the Mayfair and we decide to call in to Barbara's Music Hall. My mum used to perform there with the Old Time Music Hall and in fact she managed to get my band Waititi a residency there. But anyway, back to the Blade and Racers and back to the Old Time Music Hall. Take it away, Alex Davis. This is Bambra's Music Hall, the oldest traditional music hall in the British Isles. It was here in this very music hall that 108 years ago, Tyneside composer Jody Ridley first sang the now immortal Tyneside anthem, The Blade and Races. Join with us now, please, in singing that same song, which brings back memories to all those millions of Jodies in every corner of the world. I went to play the races, but on the 9th of June, 1862 on a summer's afternoon. We took the bus from Bamboo's and it was heavenly laden. But where we went and I'm calling the street, that's on the road to me. So how can I best describe this version? Authentic, musical, comedic, very Geordie, very working class, and also very unifying. Everybody was singing and clapping and, and joining in. So this was the challenge, how to get the best from these two versions. <laughs> 